Hello. This is the start of a new series about common C++ compiling errors. Uh, this is intended to help new people get over the roadblock of having compiler errors they don't understand. Some of them are pretty simple to fix and uh, I want to show you, as you probably know by the title of this video, about how to overcome the common redeclaration error. If you ever get an error that says this variable is being redeclared, it's already defined here. I'm going to show you how to, in general, fix that. So I'm going to create the scenario first of all. Uh, bear with me a moment. I've got an empty folder here. And I'm going to create all my files in it. I'm just going to create this this error. So say we have a main, as you always do, and say we have I don't know some kind of header that has some stuff for us. Maybe utilities. We'll call it utilities of stuff that we just kind of want to have available to our project to use all the time. Then say we have a, a class that we're also going to to use that goes with it. Um, for sake of example, we'll, we'll call this one a a uh, bank a bank class. So we're going to have the header and the object that goes with it. So we'll create those four files. Now we probably also want to make file just to make our compiling a little easier. So these are all empty by default. We we'll just kind of created them. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just populate them real quick. Should just take a few minutes. Okay, continuing on with the example. So we have our main. Includes both of these. We're not using them yet. I'm just kind of building something that shows an example of this error case that I'm talking about. We built this bank class with some uh, some functions that are in the header. There's nothing in the bank.cp, so they're all defined here in the header. Um, and we have a utilities, which I put in one function in this utilities. Dot H. And I think I spelled it wrong. Yeah, I missed an I. Oh, well, I'll fix that later. Don't worry about it. So that's in the header. So in the main, we want to include utilities. In this bank.h, I'm going to include utilities. And I think I need to spell it right. So let me do that real quick. And of course, we have a make file, which we should do something with. You know, I'm going to do this the easy way. Um, let's make file. Roll. Copy that. Actually, we'll just whatever. All right, so this should handle pretty much everything for us. I don't want to have to edit this make file, so I'm going to move my source quickly. I'm going to do a new folder. Call it source. Put all of these in there. That way this make file like this U2 common episode one. Okay. This way when we do make run. Let's see, there's our run, which does a make all, and then it and it runs whatever we built. The run macro runs our target. I'm gonna leave it change me for now because it doesn't matter too much. Well, what I'm gonna do here, okay, to mainly show you this error, we're gonna look at this function which is defined in a header. So when you include it, one of your uh, one of your uh, C++ files that's gonna turn into an object, which will be any of these in .cpp, it builds this function in that object. Now, if you build it into two different objects, if you have two different objects that are building the same one, that's when you get the, the duplicate error. Catching a little lag here on my machine. All right, so maybe we'll want to say, okay, we've got the utilities included. included. We also want to just uh, print lowest allowed, which we'll use this function to print lowest allowed equals one. Now, this should all work fine because I've only included it in one place. Oh, 
we need to finish declaring our class properly with that at the end. So let's make this full screen. There it goes. It says hello world. It says lowest allowed. That's great. So it works. Now, where we can introduce the problem, the duplicate error, is we try to do this somewhere else. Like, let's try to have this bank.cvp also do it. So it already includes utilities. This is going to include bank.h, which will also include utilities because it's in here. Retroactively include. And we say we want to have um, do avoid print print lowest and rather than define it here we're going to define this one over in bank.cvp so it'll build over into this object and we'll do this but what we're going to have this do, since it already includes utilities, is we're going to have it call the one from utilities with print lowest allowed. Oh my gosh, I'm catching so much lag. How laggy is this video going to be? Is it even going to be releasable? Okay, and we've got some... So that's what it's going to do, is it's going to use this function. Which means it should try to build it into here as well and into here since we're using it here, and we should get the double include error. Okay, I guess we're going to include my other stream here, and we'll do it again. So I'm going to do a clear on this, clear, make, run. And here we have multiple definition of print lowest allowed, first defined here. This is the error I'm talking about, this multiple definition. And this is how you create it. You have a header with no associated object directly, like there's no utilities.cpp. So it's building into wherever you include it. And if you include it into multiple objects, it tries to build it twice, it duplicates. So one way to fix this is to make this defined somewhere else. So for sake of example, I'm going to cut that, and I'm just going to make this a header. And then I'm going to make another, let me go into source, and I'm going to make a file called utilities. If I can spell it, dot C++. Okay, and now we should have that file. Let me go into my folder. There it is. We're going to go ahead and open it in Genie as well. And we're just going to, of course, include utilities. So it knows about it, header for it, and here we're just going to define it. And lowest allowed. Catching a little lag here. So what happens now, first we want to do a make clean to get rid of all our objects. Oh, i got to go back to directory where our make file actually is. Make clean. And deletes all our stuff. I'm going to do another make run. And this time, we do not get the duplication error. We don't get the multiple definition because it's only defined in one spot, and that's its associated CPP file. So there you go. That's how you avoid the double include error from your headers. That's one of the ways. There are other ways. Um, I'm not going to get into those because they get a little more complicated. But the easiest way is to just make an associated CPP file that defines it rather than having it defined in your header. So if you define it in your header, just to recap, if you define it in a header, it builds into whatever C++ file you use it in. But if you only make it a declaration in the header and then define it somewhere else, it only builds in that one object and doesn't give you the... Uh, multiple builds. So it's only it's only in this object. Before I did introduce the utilities.cvp, it was trying to, it was basically building in both of these and running in the duplication error. So since we didn't want that, we just do a whole nother another one. So there you go. I hope you guys found this informative and look out for episode two where we'll talk about more common C plus errors.
Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and all that good stuff. I appreciate any support I can get. This is a rather new channel still. I'd like it to continue growing and to get a community. And uh, hopefully we can get more people interested in coding. I'm trying to make videos where it can make it fun too. I think coding is a rather important thing in our day and age. And uh, a lot of people find it intimidating. And I can see why. It is rather frustrating sometimes. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye.